Hey Android fans and iPhone fanboys and girls. This is Eric from HollywoodFoto.com with a, another review. Uh, this time I'm going to be talk to, talking to you about uh, a really cheap, inexpensive Bluetooth uh, headphone headset that works really great for what it costs and for what it is. Right before we get to that, just want to remind you that this review is being sponsored by AndyTags.com. AndyTags is the best place on the internet to get really cool looking, high quality NFC tags and stickers uh, for use with your NFC enabled phones. Of course, that's only going to work for you Android guys because you iPhone people don't have NFC. Um, so this, these are the headphones. Uh, they are Mito brand headphones. And uh, these are, you might have seen these, they're, they're fairly cheap, fairly inexpensive uh, Bluetooth headphones that are available on uh, uh, Amazon. And uh, I have my phone here because I want to show you how they work and how well they work. Uh, now, most of the specs on these are pretty accurate. Uh, the uh, standby time is several days, standby time is fine. Uh, as far as playback time, um, some of the specs will say like nine hours. I don't think you're going to get nine hours out of these, but uh, you probably solidly get. Uh, I tested them for about three hours with uh, uh, after having tested the standby time, and they lasted three hours. So I would say. On a, on a fresh charge, you probably will get about three hours, three to four, maybe three to four hours. Um, if it's been on standby for a long, long time, then maybe two and a half to three. But a good solid three hours. Um, the headphones are, you know, they're, the plastic is, I guess you could say cheap plastic, but plastic in general is pretty cheap. But style-wise, I mean, they, uh, you know, they look pretty cool. Uh, the sound quality uh, was impressive for the price. Um, of course, it's not. You're not gonna get the same quality out of these headphones, which are gonna run you about 30 bucks, give or take, uh, as you would get out of a $200 pair of Bose or uh, uh, Beats Audio. But for about around $30 to have a Bluetooth headset, uh, it's pretty good. Now it's it's noise. They're noise canceling, but they're not active noise canceling, so they don't have, you know, that technology that. Uh, cancels out noises. They're just designed in such a way that they do filter out noise and they do a pretty good job. And uh, the earphones are very, the ear muffs, I call them, are very comfortable. Um, you can see those there. They're very soft and, uh, and the sound is very good. So basically all your controls are on the right side here. And uh, one thing I like about them, they are active pairing. So if the Bluetooth is on on your phone, then when you turn these on, they immediately look for your phone or look for something they've been paired to and pair themselves. So you don't have to turn this on and then go into your phone and, and find them and click pair. As soon as you turn these on, what you do by holding down the middle button, if I can hold down the right button, that would help. And as soon as uh, it comes on, it immediately pairs and you'll see it flashed and that's because uh, it is paired with my phone. I'm going to get my phone here. Now it does have uh, controls. Uh, you have your volume uh, up or volume down, which unfortunately is not the up and the down, which seems to me would be the logical way. But instead, the forward button is uh, uh, volume up. The back button is volume down. And then you have previous track and next track, high and low. But once you get used to the controls, it's not a big deal. It's just a little odd at first because it's not necessarily logically where you would think they would be. Uh, the middle button is your play or your pause button. Um, and if you get a phone call, uh, you can also press that to answer a call. If a phone call comes in and if you're on a call, you can press it to uh, end a call. Uh, now these do have mic. Uh, mics built into the headset, but I will tell you right now, the uh, you're not going you're not going to want to use these to have conversations. They're not good for that. Um, that's where they fall short, I guess. 
But for me, I wasn't expecting them to be really good at that, and I didn't get them for that reason. I got them to use strictly for uh, like when I'm flying so that I can play games or listen to music or watch a movie and not have to have that cord because uh, I was tired of having to deal with, you know, you have to deal with so much on planes these days anyway. I was tired of dealing with the cord, and that's why I saw these. They were cheap. I was like, man, eh, I'll give them a try. Um, but the mic doesn't work good. I tried, tried it out, like making phone calls and talking to people, and if you use it on the mic, you're going to get, the person on the other end is going to get like a buzzing sound, a really annoying buzzing sound. So I, uh, I wouldn't recommend that at all. But everything else works great. So, uh, for example, I'm going to push the play button. I'm going to push the play button. It's going to, it's launching Audio Galaxy on my phone now. And it's going to play, Let's see if I can find something that's actually worth playing. And uh, I'm going to turn the volume up here. And I'm going to put these right over the microphone there so you can hear them. And when you push the button here, then it pauses. And again, this is Audio Galaxy. This is a streaming music player I have. So whatever music player you have uh, that you're using, you can... I think just about any music player it'll be compatible with as far as pausing and playing. And that's play. And then you can go to the, uh, go back. So that's going back. Or you can skip to the next song. You can go softer. And uh, when you, the, the volume control here, when you are going loud or soft, you're actually controlling the volume on the actual headset itself. Um, unless you are, if you're playing music or something, if you're hooked in, if you're using it uh, on, uh, to make a phone call or something of that nature, then those controls will control the Bluetooth volume level on your phone. So, um, and that's pretty much it uh, about these. It does have a pad here on the top that you can see. So they are, like I said, they're fairly comfortable. I'm gonna pause the music so I can hear myself. But you see, they they they, they sit comfortably on the head. The pad on the top is nice. The earphones are nice, and uh, they do adjust in and out for different sizes. Um. And that's pretty pretty much it. Um, like I said, this uh, and they fold, so that they're pretty you know decently compact if you want to carry them. Like if you are taking them on a plane or something, uh, you can stuff them down in a bag pretty easy. They charge via a micro uh, USB, um, which it does come with a it comes with one, but then also uh, most. Uh, most of us have those anyway, because most phones are using those to charge. So uh, you you have extra ways to charge it. But uh, and that's pretty much it for these. Uh, like I said, you know, the thirty bucks, the thirty five bucks, you can go get uh, a really fancy pair of Bluetooth headphones for like a hundred dollars. And yes, they'll probably work a little bit better. And especially if you, you know, if you're planning on using it not just to listen to music, but to talk on the phone and stuff, you definitely don't want to use these for that. But if you're just looking for an inexpensive pair of uh, Bluetooth headphones to listen to music, play your games, uh, watch movies. Um, as far as the audio quality goes on these, I was really impressed. They work really great. And for the price, you just can't beat them. So uh, I have a link below uh, to, to help you find these on Amazon. Um, there's a lot of different sellers, so I'm not linking to any specific seller because I don't not working for them, but uh, I just uh, you just click that link. It'll take you to Amazon with the results of a bunch of different people who are selling them, and you can find the best price you can find and uh, uh, buy them inexpensively, and uh, they work great. Anyway, uh, that's about it for this one. Uh, if you like this review, please click the like button, share it with your friends and family. Uh, maybe you don't want to share it because this is a good cheap Christmas gift to get somebody, uh, but. Uh, 
yeah, you can uh, check out my video channel. I have lots of other reviews. Um, of course, most of my, I have a lot of app reviews for Android, but I also have some other uh, reviews of uh, things like skins and stuff that can be for used for any phone. So anyway, that's it for now. And until next time, this is Eric reminding you that your Android or your iPhone is only going to be as good as you make it.